So okay. is it visible full? Yes. Is my... I see it clearly. Make it first clean. Okay. Okay. So that's just a minute. Oh, now is it visible? Yes. Hello? Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, am I audible? Hello? Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, good afternoon uh, from India. Uh, I am uh, Pranjal Singh, a PhD student from Institute for Plasma Research. And uh, my PhD work deals with uh, design and development of probe for in situ measurement of work function and CSIM dynamics. So I shall be starting with the process, then motivation and objective of my present research work, and what are the uses and application of the developed probe. So coming to the introduction to the uh, so as we all know that in order to ignite uh, fusion plasma, we require a non-inductive um, additional heating mechanism and for which neutral beam injection systems are one of the important component and these NBIs are based on the cesium seeded negative ions. Let me have this pointer. So these NBIs are based on the cesium seeded negative ion sources and we can see it the right that there is a cesium uh, evaporator uh, in order to operate these ion sources in the surface as a state mode and these cesium basically get co-deposited on the uh, plasma grid surface uh, so as to um, produce enhance the production of the negative ions and then these negative ions are extracted in the forms of negative ion current and the source efficiency depends on the yield of these negative ion current for a given input RF power. And our goal is to increase this negative ion current so as to have a high power beam as per the heater requirements. Now, the, we all know that the deposition of alkali metals such as tungsten reduces the tungsten surface work function up to 1.4 to 1.5 EV, which is lower than the independent work function value of both cesium and tungsten separately. Now, the study of cesium dynamics and its effect on surface work function is of high importance for ETER and BI experiments. Alkali metal being highly reactive towards atmospheres, so require high vacuum conditions for deposition. Therefore, a vacuum compatible probe is needed to measure alkali metal atom flux. Now, uh, Briefly coming to this major issues of the ion source ion sources, negative ion surface production principle is based on resonance electron capture that requires a low surface work function as electron affinity of hydro neutral hydrogen atom is around 0.75 EV. Now there are issues with cesium injection, alkali metal being highly reactive towards atmospheres, so requires high vacuum conditions for deposition. Issue there are issues is work function controllability. Effect of impurities leads to degradation of surface work function. There are, there are issues with monitoring of cesium coverage on PG. Work function of PG surface is dependent on the extent of cesium coverage on PG. Now coming to the experimental setup, which primarily consists of a centrally located probe with respect to the nozzle head of the cesium delivery system. And there is a quartz crystal micro balance in order to measure the cesium flux and simultaneously to the benchmark the measurement of the probe, cesium flux measurement of the probe. And the same probe, which we call it as a prism, is used for the measurement of the work function, which is based on the principles of photoelectric effect. So we require a light source system. And also, the, 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 there is an infrared imaging based system for the measurement of the extent of the cesium coverage on this filament surface, which is and this we'll talk about the probe in the later slides and uh, the cesium delivery system uh, this is the image at the right is the image of the cesium delivery system which consists of a one gram cesium ampoule it's a glass ampoule based uh, cesium and there is this all metal wall 
which is used for in situ breaking of this ampoule by the help of this crushing rod and this uh, liquid cesium then falls to the reservoir which is maintained at the temperature of 100 degrees celsius and then this evaporated cesium atoms are guided through this delivery tube which is maintained at a temperature of higher temperature of 200 degrees celsius into the vacuum chamber via the help of this nozzle head and this nozzle structure plays a role in the angular and distribution of the cesium and uh, along with the cesium consumption rate so this cesium oven is used in this uh, robin negative ion source at ipr now coming to the light slide source system is especially designed uh, consist of uh, three diode lasers uh, red green and blue giving three different photon energies in order to measure the work function by registering the onset of photoelectric current so the rotation frequency of this light source system which is shown in the right is of around 2 hertz and it aligned with the probe centrally located probe filament from via uh, the help of a vacuum window now this is the probe and uh, this is basically a probe head which consists of a hairpin filament which is electrically isolated from the metal cup and is mechanically assembled in a way that uh, uh, it, it acts as a anode cathode and ionizer collector geometry and uh, the, the, the cup consists of two diametrically opposite slits so as to see the hairpin filament from outside with the help of vacuum window and simultaneously the slits can be utilized for different diagnostic one for the measurement of work function and the other for the for uh, the measurement of the and this probe yes is uh, this probe head is mounted on a vacuum feed through uh, so to allow the linear motion of this with uh, this probe in, in within the vacuum without breaking the vacuum so it's it's that making it a, this probe as a vacuum compatible probe so just highlighting the novelty it's a thumb size vacuum compatible device used for the measurement of surface work function in correlation with the cesium dynamics which is the measurement of cesium flux at the surface and the cesium coverage at the surface so all these three parameters can be correlated measured and correlated at the same location using this vacuum compatible probe so now coming to the circuitry of the probe this probe can be operated in two different modes primarily two different modes one for the work function measurement where the the cup acts as a collector and the filament acts as an emitter for and 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 the bias is such that the cup is positively biased with respect to the filament so as to collect the photoelectric photoelectrons and while operating the probe in the cesium dynamics mode the ex the bias is changed externally reversed externally and now the cup acts as a cup again acts as a collector with a negative bias and this, this filament which is now is heated to a high temperature of heated red hot around 200 degrees uh, 1200 degrees celsius so as the impinging C neutral cesium atoms get ionized and now the cesium ion current is registered in order to measure this impinging cesium flux on the hairpin filament also the same probe can be operated at much lower temperature of the hairpin filament in order to mimic the pg like Conditions like 200, uh, 150 or 160 degrees Celsius by passing a low current in the filament and simultaneously seeing the CGSN process with this infrared camera. So now, uh, so this probe is used in three different modes. One for the work function, which we call it a photoelectron capturing unit mode. And then th there is a surface ionization probe mode for uh, cesium flux measurement. And then there is a uh, cesium coverage diagnostic mode for cesium coverage ext for estimation of the extent of the cesium coverage on the hairpin. 
this sorry okay now this work function uh, principle is based on the principle of photoelectric effect the signal frequency is governed by the rotating laser assembly which is of 2 hertz it can be seen in this time signal which is of 5 second the signal is of 5 second with the height of the signal of 0.7 nano ampere and uh, the noise level is around 0.1 nano ampere is primarily the noise consists of the 50 hertz ac and the signal level is 0.7 nano ampere the the work function level is determined by the measurement of photo emission onset and we see the signal uh, this is the truth table that that gives us a um, it helps to estimate the work function and uh, the, the the signal is obtained for blue laser and for the other two lasers there has been no photoelectric signal um, as, um, this shows that the work function has reached below the photon energy corresponding to blue laser which is 3.06 cv now what is the reason that we could not even see a signal of uh, expected signal of green laser because as the pure cesium work function is 2.14 ev and that the photon energy of green is around 2.3 ev this is this 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 is possibly due to the presence of background impurities mainly water vapor that leads to the degradation of the surface work function and we can see from this rga spectrum that the water vapor consists around 50% of the background gas compositions and this can leads to the formation of cesium hydroxide at cesium being highly electropositive will react we miss react very actively with oh miss h2o forming is a stable more stable cesium compound like cesium hydroxide and these these compounds have very different properties than that of pure cesium leading to the surface degradation in now in the surface ionization probe mode of the operation we we see that uh, this is the cesium current in three regions the region 1 current responds to the sip filament heating and then the region 2 correspond to the growth due to the cesium ion current and this growth correspond to the cesium dynamics within the cup as this uh, sip is operated sequentially after the measurement of uh, work function and there is already cesium has been deposited within the inner walls of the cup and the region 3 corresponds to the dynamics of the cesium from the cup as well as from the oven as the cesium oven is switched off the midway between the sip operation it it has it, it has to be noted the the nozzle and it it get deposited cup now they they flux by the it too follows the same behavior of uh, and this behavior is basically a quasi exponential behavior which is uh um, miss, uh which is uh, theoretically formulated in the form of Lang langmuir adsorption isotherm uh, where the cesium coverage fractional cesium coverage is a function of uh is is is, is quasi exponential where theta bar is the equilibrium cesium coverage theta not is the initial cesium coverage so now in in while operating uh, while the measurement of the cesium coverage we uh, this is the experimental arrangement the consisting of infrared camera and uh, a zinc selenide window uh, which is an ir compatible window and uh, now the hairpin filament of the probe is heated uh, to 160 degree celsius in order to mimic pg like surface conditions and as the cesium is deposited the temperature the surface temperature uh, of the hairpin filament as seen by ir camera at constant in emissivity value falls and gets uh, and, and, and falls to from around 60 degrees celsius and it it saturates to 100 degrees celsius so these are the steady state temperatures 160 and 100 and it it follows again it follows a similar behavior to that of exponential behavior similar to that of uh, langmuir adsorption isotherm and 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 we have utilized that correlation to to uh, establish a new correlation between temperature and a similar correlation between emissivity 
so this temperature co correlation can be used to uh, used to miss this uh, used to relate with the cesium coverage to, to the extent of the cesium coverage and this can be used for uh, for to diagnose the extent of the cesium coverage in pg like surface conditions so based on ir camera now coming to the conclusion of the present work a vacuum compatible compact easy to handle probe is design experiment which can measure three different parameters related to cesium dynamics and its deposition effect on a surface it can measure local cesium flux cesium coverage and corresponding work function on the surface and help to find a correlation of these three parameters at the same location this investigation shows that the work function of the cesiated polycrystalline tungsten surface is below 3.06 v and the negative ones now moving further to the application of the probe you can see that function of a converter like surface conditions can be seen in means in order to improve the negative ion source performance this is one have a mental image of the experimental arrangement within the ion source the generation of the photoelectric uh, signal and this is the probe location close to the pg first ball of the extraction system and this is the camera for ir imaging of the hairpin filament and this this so now oh, so thank you for watching if I, i can have questions now well sure <laughs> thanks for keeping the time uh uh it's absolutely not a problem to accept questions uh oh. the paper is open for questions and discussions anybody <laughs> so i i i i Actually, I have one question. Uh, oh, so, so you sir, have shown the. Uh, from, yeah, sir, go ahead. The question the from Tiago Sarmenta. Give me him. Him too. Oh, Tiago. Okay, Tiago, go ahead. Hello. I, I just uh, sent that in the in the chat, but the oh. question I had. Uh, thank you for the talk. Roughly, what oh, time resolution does the probe operate on? Oh yes. What time? The time resolution. So you can measure time? the the flux down okay. to. for for the measurement of cesium flux yes okay time so, resolution so, so, time resolution how accurate in time can you measure the work function in uh, so or in other words uh, the, what's the uh, required the, time for you to determine for, work function that depends on the frequency of your light source Okay. <laughs> Tiago, did you get it? <laughs> uh once again let me if you see the signal of the work function it is around 500 millisecond. So the sense. Yeah, but it, it, you you see uh, you you show a kind of exponential droop. Okay, so let me let me come to that slide. Yeah. Just, just, <laughs> just. So it's it's question is related to Yeah, no. no, no. this is just ah oh, okay yeah that so, one yes so if you see this this signal is very fast means it the whole time scale is around 5 seconds and this signal frequency means the time resolution is around 500 600 millisecond the signal get repeat, repeated after 500 milliseconds 500 to 600 milliseconds frequency also depends on the frequency of the light source which is 2 hertz in our case so the the signal is frequency is 2 hertz so if we can uh, increase the tunable we can use a tunable laser then it could be very continuous signal so for the present case it's 500 to 600 milliseconds okay did i answer yeah thank you yeah. all right
No more question? Okay, then uh, as it is time, uh, thank you very much. Um, let's move on.